I am in Shiraz, the last destination of my journey through Iran. I have been traveling around the country for over a week. I came here to learn about the culture and about the people. After a few days in Iran, I realized that the country is not so scary or dangerous after all. I overcame my fears after meeting face to face with the Iranians. They showed me a new face of Iran, one very different from the negative image we are used to see in the West. Despite the Islamic government and women in Shadors, Iran is pretty much like any other place in the world. Iran, the birthplace of the great Persian civilization and the Islamic revolution, a place rich in culture and tradition, but also one which is misunderstood by many. Declared by President Bush as part of the axis of evil, some fear Iran's nuclear program and others make allegations of human rights violations. But what is Iran really like? Is it really evil and dangerous? Do Iranians really hate Americans and the West? Despite the political tensions, I decided to visit this controversial country and see myself what was going on there. My first stop is Tehran. The city looks like any other modern city. Bad traffic, heavy pollution, concrete blocks and over 20 million people. On the streets, most billboards are religious propaganda. Portraits of the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Khomeini, the current supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, and Iranian martyrs who die in the Iran-Iraq war are everywhere. The murals outside the former U.S. Embassy, as well as on buildings in Iran, seem to confirm the negative image that we are used to see in the West. Iranians are religious fanatics who hate America. However, much to my surprise, I found that these messages and images didn't reflect the sentiments of most people I met during my trip in Iran. I love all the humans. It doesn't matter if you are American or Iranian or Persian or whatever. As far as you are human... Iranians seem surprised when they are told that they are fear abroad. They welcome foreigners with open arms. Iranian lovely man. Iranian very like the love than the fight. We love tourists. And very try. That man enjoy or that woman enjoy in my country and go, go back with good uh, memory. Iran is a place of contrast. It is an Islamic republic which embraces its history and culture, while at the same time, it has modern cities which rival any in the world. The chaos of the big cities contrasts with the slow pace of the small towns, some of which appear unchanged from how they might have appeared hundreds of years ago. Religion is important in Iran, but like their counterparts in the West, most Iranians' thoughts are occupied by work and family. They are trying to build a better life for their children. Although Iran is an Islamic state, they are quick to point out that there are no Arabs. There are Persians, they speak Farsi, and they have their own culture. Premarital sex and alcohol are illegal in Iran, but people do both. They are just discreet. In despite of the fact that the country has been under severe economic sanctions for over 20 years, Iranians have managed to keep up with the modern world. I was surprised by the infrastructure in Iran. The transportation system is efficient, and the roads and highways are perfectly paved. While shopping in Iran, you won't find international brands, but you can find anything you need locally made. There are no McDonald's or Starbucks, but Iranians have created their own fast food change with pizza and burgers, as well as beautiful tea shops. Hollywood blockbusters are forbidden in Iran, but the theaters are packed with people who want to enjoy the latest Iranian movie. Internet cafes or cafenets are everywhere, and they're full all the time despite the severe censorship of the web. Although by law, women must cover their hair and bodies, it is not as restrictive as many of us think. Modesty in Iran is very important, and a woman who dresses with modesty is respected. Immediately following the Islamic Revolution, the religious police reinforced the proper use of the shador. However, I didn't encounter with any of those authorities. Instead, I ran into different interpretation of the hijab. Some women still proudly wear the black shador, 
but many Iranians, especially the young, dress very western and just cover their heads with a scarf. Conservatives and liberals in terms of fashion mix and mingle in perfect harmony. Unlike other Islamic countries, women in Iran can vote, work, drive and walk on the streets alone. 60% of the people who graduate at the university are women, yet there is still a long way to go to have equal rights. They cannot run for president, they cannot go to the stadiums to watch a soccer game, and they cannot travel alone. As a solo female backpacker in Iran, I was approached by curious young women who find it fascinating to see a woman traveling by herself. And I really appreciate you because you come here alone. It's really strange. <laughs> yeah. I also noticed that Iranian men, especially the young, take as much pride in their appearance as their women. Looking cool and groomed, they wear sweaters, jeans, and leather jackets. They seem far from religious fanatics. Despite being portrayed as extremists and their country named as part of an axis of evil, the regular Iranian smiles at and welcomes the foreigner. Every Iranian I met on the road feels that the Western media has portrayed them unfairly. They hope that more tourists come to their country to see the real face of Iran. The empire of the media of the Westerners are really making bad face of Iran. Come to Iran and see the fact here. Iran is definitely not the same Iran of the early days of the Islamic Revolution. With more than two-thirds of the population under the age of 30, there is no doubt that more changes are yet to come. Putting politics aside, Iran is not only a rich and perplexing society, but also a beautiful place with very welcoming people.